everybody, it's the Horror Fan Man. Finally got an update, got a few um, films through the post, so yeah, quite happy. It's hot as fuck here at the minute, <clears throat> a bit cloudier today, but yeah, summer's actually started, so here we go. First up, I've got this beauty, it's The Blob. This is the um, German media book. This actually just come through the post today. Really love this film. This is one of the best films of the 80s and probably one of the um, best remakes as well. So, yeah, really chuffed to get this. It was um, my good buddy Spider Geek who actually got me into these. There's a disc there. The old nice pink and blobby stuff. So, yeah, it's got all of these writing. There's the old UK cover there. And there's the um, German one. Yeah, so it's really cool. We love this film. It's really, really good fun. I say Kevin Dillon there with his mullet is absolutely amazing in it. Yeah, there's a lot of other stuff here. So yeah, I know that um, I'm speaking to Spider Geek at Horicon that this is what most people are going for now. I can see why. Oops, really cool. Sorry about that. It's really cool stuff there. Yeah, so I'm quite happy to get this on Blu-ray as well. I've got the old Region 1 DVD. So get this. It's really smart. Yeah. It's limited edition, but I can't see on, on here how many there is. Yeah. So, yeah, can't wait to put this in. There's a spine there. Put this in and give it a whirl tonight, maybe. Brilliant, love that cover. It's great. That's that. Plus, um, went to a couple of car boot sales yesterday as well. I picked this up, a small one that I went to. It's um, Corpses with Jeff Fahey in it. Did actually start watching this last night, but I was um, absolutely knackered. So, uh, yeah, I fell asleep, so I ended up going to bed. It's got making of in it as well. Basically, um, there's a crime spree in a town and basically people are coming back to life. It's all to do with this mortuary. Yeah, it was actually quite fun. It's a comedy as well. So yeah, isn't bad. 50p. Picked up this one as well. It's um, True Story of the Exorcist. Timothy Dalton film and Christopher Plummer. It's called Possessed. Yeah, I'm not a religious person at all, but you know, I'll do <laughs> Enjoy some of these films. Some of them are good, obviously. Some of them are pretty shit. So yeah, I'll give this one a go. It's 106 minutes. It's actually <laughs> quite long. It's pretty tame, really. Basically, hardly any bad language. No sex nudity. Infrequent moderate violence and some strong horror. So, be interesting. Yeah, it's another one. 100 quid. Picked up this one as well. Big Bad Wolf. Yeah, pretty cool cover. Rental copy. I hate the way they put that over the covers, but yeah. Don't know anything about this. I have heard of this before. I think I've seen a bit about it in um, Fangoria magazine back in the day. Yeah, so another Cabin in the Woods thing. So yeah, give it a go. Pretty cool cover. And picked up another hardcore. This is Zombie Chronicles. Being Dead Rots. Yeah, and hardcore, they're a bit hit and miss. Some of the films they put out are really, really shit. But yeah. Yeah, apparently it's a bit like Tales from the Crypt. Loads of um, horrifying tales of zombie chronicles. Yeah, I'll give this a give this a shot, you know what I mean? Yeah, 50p again as so, hell, yeah. Got quite a few of the old hardcore now. Also picked up this, it's the, um, the remake of Salem's Lot. With Rob Lowe. Yeah. It's not bad. It's really bad cast, is it? Donald Sutherland, Samantha Mathis, Rutger Howe, and James Cromwell as well. You know, I do really love the original. It's one of the best, I think, of the TV movies they've done back in the day. I think it was 79. So, yeah. I'll give this one a shot as well. See if they've improved on it. I don't think they will because, like I say, the original with David Soul was just amazing. <coughs> Got this one as well. It's got a slipcover with it and it's in really good knit. 
This is um, Reaper with um, Danny Trejo and Vinnie Jones. Yeah, he pops up in a lot of stuff. He's on a lot of British TV as well, cop shows. So yeah, I give this a go. It's another one I've um, never really heard of before, but yeah, it looks good fun. Yeah, it's a slasher flick. So yeah, I'll give it a go. Pretty cool cover, but Danny Trejo was in absolutely anything at the minute. <laughs> also picked up this one. Couldn't pass this one up. Navy Seals versus Zombies. Um, it's got on the back there. It's called Navy Seals, the Battle for New Orleans. So yeah, I doubt it will have any of that on it because <clears throat> it'll have to be the fucking budget of World War Z to fucking pull that one off. But yeah, basically it's in um, Baton Rouge and the vice president's there, and basically they send in the Navy Seals because there's a zombie outbreak. So watch out when the missus is in bed because she hates zombie films. Also, I've got this one as well, Dark Corners, Four of Birch and Toby Stevens. So like this reminds me of something, but I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. But I checked and I haven't actually got it, so I'll give it a go. You know, yeah. Woman wakes up, she's been severely beaten, and there's um, no memory of what happened. And basically, it's, um, she gets reprieve from her hell is existent when she sleeps so don't really know give it a shot so picked up another of the old um, 88 films slasher classics collection it's number 19 from 1983 scouts i've got this on an old vipco and the picture is terrible and i think it's really heavily cut and it was pretty average so i'm quite happy to uh, see this one with the old Proper, proper widescreen, proper sound, and basically, it's got all the um, cutscenes put back in as well, which is what you want to see, isn't it? So yeah, look forward to that. It's got a commentary track as well with Fred Olin Ray. So, remember him, Scouts, new 22-minute retrospective featurette with Richard Henrich, Frank McDonald, Chris Olin Ray, and Fred Olin Ray, and Justin Kirschwell on Scouts, the Slashes Experts View. And obviously trailer reel, so yeah. Better cover than Bipco as well. <laughs> obviously. Right, I've got a few um <clears throat> other ones. I've got this from Arrow. This is the slipcover edition here. The old Crimes of Passion. Really cool slipcover there. Yeah. I remember this film from back in the day when it came out. I have um it's got two versions of the films on it as well. So I was pretty pretty chuffed with that. I've watched um the director's cut and the unrated version of the film and I didn't really see a lot of difference in them personally <laughs> still got screen um, it's got a commentary on there as well which uh, still to listen to with Ken Russell and um, Barry Chandler it's got seven deleted extended scenes or short commentary brand new interview with Sandler recorded especially for this release brand new interview with composer Rick Wakeman recorded for this release it's a lovely life music video which I actually think is quite a catchy tune yeah so yeah, it's pretty chuffed for that. And getting the slip cover one as well. Also picked up uh, Satan's Blade as well, which um, I had on the Slasher video Blu-ray, but that was 4.3. And this is the proper widescreen. 1.85 one <coughs> ratio on it as well. So I'm quite chuffed with that. I also um, listened to it with the commentary with the Hysteria Continues, which I uh, recommend it to anyone because it's really good fun. An interview with L. Scott Castillo Jr. Remembering Satan's Blade. Castillo and Rachel look at various items such as save Satan's Blade memorabilia. And, yeah. Um, I'll watch that as well. And the guy seems a bit strange. It's like shot in a hick town sort of thing. In this room. And basically he's off camera most of it. Showing you a few things he's picked up. And... He seems a bit odd. Every time the camera zooms in on something, he moves it, and he's got a fascination with a knife, with, with a knife in it as well. And you should watch out as well. It's it's quite quite strange, really. And last of my um, arrow, I finally got around to getting Silent Night, Deadly Night, which I actually thought I had <clears throat> when I was going to see Linda Quigley at um, Horicon, and then I realised I didn't have it. So yeah, so I bought it in. It's quite cheap now as well, so yeah. 
Don't know how many versions of this I've got now. Quite a few. This is a classic. Everyone knows that. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's so that deadly night. And in Poundland, this is non-horror, but I picked up this, killing them softly. Yeah, I'd never actually seen this, but yeah, it's got Jake James Gandolfini in it, Ray Liotta in as well. Got this for a quid. Don't really know a lot about it. Just know that it's uh, basically a is a hitman who's um, enforcer who's tied to track down some people. Yeah. So basically, I might mind giving that a shot when I've got nothing to watch one night. It's pretty open just for a quid. And picked up this. If anyone in America hasn't seen this, this is a film you should pick up. It's brilliant. I mean, that's actually Ray Winston, believe it or not. Yeah. This is a absolutely amazing film. It was actually made as a thing called a play for today, which used to get on the BBC back in the late seventies, and basically they refused to show it because it was it was basically too violent and too much for TV, so they pulled it. So they basically went out and made a cinema version of it in seventy nine, and it's absolutely brilliant, man. That's a classic life right there, and the daddy here. Yeah, anyone who loves a Sean Penn film, Bad Boys, well this blows it away. It's brilliant. It's raw. <clears throat> basically it doesn't hold back from anything and it's a fantastic film absolutely love it it's got loads of british british actors in it it's got phil daniels from quadrophenia really really young and it's just basically fantastic this one here is really good because it's got the bbc unseen version from 77 and the theatrical version i watched that yesterday absolutely brilliant so i recommend anyone in america likes like prison borsley sort of films get this one it's fantastic brilliant and also lastly what I picked up as well roger daltrey in mcvicar this is a film made by the who who films basically about a british villain john mcvicar this is a true story based on his life it's a great film as well absolutely brilliant and roger daltrey there is absolutely brilliant in it it's another one that i recommend as well to anybody absolutely fantastic yeah so that's it that's basically everything just have to get my um my first proper german media book and i think i will be picking up the odd one of these every now and again because they're all limited and they look great as well so yeah there you go spider geek i did get one all right oh there's chris Froome there and british guy just won the tour de france again so that's his third time he's won it. So on that happy note, I'll say everybody goodbye and keep it horror.